The uptake and release of carbon dioxide by the atmosphere, oceans, plants, animals, soil and microorganisms is part of Earth's natural carbon exchange cycle. The cycle is approximately balanced in the long term but has been disturbed by human activities since the Industrial Revolution. This is because carbon dioxide is the primary greenhouse gas emitted through human activity such as the burning of fossil fuels for electricity, transport and industry and the clearing of land for agriculture. Too much carbon dioxide in the atmosphere increases the absorption of heat from the sun, causing the lower atmosphere temperature of the earth to rise and resulting in global warming. This is the main cause of modern climate change, prompting international attempts to limit the rise in carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases. CSIR scientists are using state-of-the-art equipment and mathematical models to measure carbon dioxide exchange and related factors on land and sea. They aim to more accurately predict the rate of carbon dioxide buildup that could lead to high risk and costly climate change and to test the effectiveness of mitigation strategies. This work also contributes to the South African Integrated Carbon Observatory Network, which was established to consolidate carbon data and knowledge from institutions across the country. Other members include the South African Weather Service, the Department of Environmental Affairs, the South African National Biodiversity Institute and the City of Cape Town. To learn more about the ocean's role in climate change, CSIR researchers have launched sea gliders at sites in the Southern Ocean, thousands of kilometers south of Africa. The Southern Ocean takes up about half of all the man-made carbon dioxide absorbed by our oceans. This makes it the main long-term regulator of atmospheric carbon dioxide. It is, however, difficult and costly to collect data from ships in the Southern Ocean's stormy and icy conditions, and also because this ocean is so remote. The sea gliders are remotely navigated and collect oceanographic data up to one kilometer below the sea surface. The data are sent back in real time via satellite, enabling researchers to obtain oceanographic observations at a fraction of the cost of ship-based missions. The gliders are fitted with sensors that collect data about salinity, temperature, dissolved oxygen, light and chlorophyll. The researchers have also launched wave gliders which consist of fiberglass surface units that carry sensors and solar panels to power them. The surface unit is connected by an umbilical structure to a power unit at a depth of 7 meters. These gliders can be steered via satellite and move at a speed of 2 km an hour, converting wave energy into forward propulsion while measuring atmospheric and ocean carbon levels, ocean acidity, temperature, salinity and depths. The engineering company Sea Technology Services has been contracted by the CSIR to establish the South African Marine Engineering and Robotics Centre in Cape Town to maintain the gliders train young engineers and develop an ocean robotics innovation path. The engineers have established a glider port and they navigate the robots remotely from the center. The gliders have been collecting high quality data from the Southern Ocean since deployments began in 2012. The CSIR's climate scientists are analyzing this data, while researchers and engineers are conducting further glider tests in the ocean near Cape Town. CSIR researchers have also been collecting data on land. It can be difficult to achieve representative carbon dioxide measurements on land as the surfaces vary so much in comparison to the ocean, influenced by nearby sinks or sources of carbon dioxide. Natural carbon dioxide sinks include vegetation which absorbs carbon dioxide through the process of photosynthesis and oceans via biological, physiological and chemical processes. Researchers try to get a more accurate idea of carbon exchange from land ecosystems by measuring the flux and concentrations at different places and combining it with modeling and satellite observations. Flux towers are tall steel structures fitted with eddy covariance sensors. These measure the upward and downward movement of gases above the vegetation canopy due to air turbulence. CSIR researchers use data from the Skukuza and Malopeni flux towers at the Kruger National Park, which take detailed measurements of the exchanges of energy, water, carbon dioxide, and other substances between the land and the atmosphere. This data, along with information from the oceans and cities, help researchers to understand and predict both how the ocean and terrestrial uptake of human and natural carbon dioxide might be affected by climate changes 
and how they drive the long-term risk to economic development and ultimately the well-being of humankind. This CSIR technology is also a platform to provide young South African scientists and engineers with advanced skills needed for cutting-edge climate change research in the 21st century.